plants. They are the fundamental basis of all life on Earth. From the small to something a little larger. We all rely on them whether we like it or not. Whilst plants are incredibly interesting and fundamental to our very existence, they are in serious decline. About one third of all British plant species are in decline and at risk of extinction. Whilst some of our natural habitats that we have left are on the verge of collapse altogether. And so in this short series, I'll hope to show you some of the fantastic plants that we have left and some of the vital connections that those plants have to other organisms. So stay tuned. This is cat's ear. It's a common member of the Asteraceae, which also contains things like dandelions and daisies and all kinds of other wonderful things. And cat's ear is a very common plant that you'll often find in lawns, like it's in my lawn here, or road verges and, and other grassy places. But what you'll often find is that it's mown down and it's never able to flower like it's in flower right here. And that is a big problem. If we just consider these lovely dandelion-like flowers of cat's ear, they are really important to a whole raft of pollinating invertebrates, from hoverflies to solitary bees and beetles to bumblebees and honeybees. They are really important to pollinating insects. But as well as the pollinators, there are so, so many more invertebrates associated with common cat's ear. If we take a look at just this one stem of common cat's ear, it's got a lovely frothy white mass attached to it. And inside that mass is something called a frog hopper nymph. It's a lovely little invertebrate and if you touch it, it, it hops into the air. And if we have a look at this other stem of cat's ear here, it's coated in these wonderful large cat's ear aphids. Now in Britain, we have over 500 species of aphid, and later on in the year, when they develop wings and fly into the air, they also play a really important role in feeding some bird species, like swifts, which are a bird in serious decline in Great Britain. As well as the swifts, these aphids are feeding something else. Wonderful hoverfly larvae, which again, are really, really important pollinating insects. And so, from just deciding to mow the lawn less frequently, you can encourage a massive diversity of wildlife. From important pollinating insects to insects that play a massive role in feeding birds. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll hope to see you next time. But in the meantime, don't forget to like and subscribe.